Morning everyone. Um, today is April the 1st. It is our one year anniversary. It's pretty exciting. And, um, and it is day two. We have about a 50 mile day to Streth Pepper. Streth Pepper. Streth Pepper. It's fairly chilly, but um, the Lord has Very blessed cold. us and given us blue skies again. On which Easter is great. Day. On Easter Day, which is wonderful. What a great anniversary, eh? Yay! Yeah. Beautiful day, the sun is shining, the roads are flat, and now I'm feeling good. It's a positive start to the day, which is which is very, very encouraging. That's a lot of birds. So basically I've got this situation on my bike whereby um, my zip ties that I was telling you about in uh, earlier on in, in the episodes, um, they, they've, they kind of broke. And so this is now upside down, so I've had to stick the water bottle up and it usually stays. It just fell off and I ran over it. And obviously it popped. And I don't know why I'm not doing this, but B, it's down there, looking, as you, you can, can see. Find the lid. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, it's probably gone miles, B. It's fine. Oh, it's in there. I can see it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it all right? That's a poo. It's got sheep poo. There's barbed wire, apparently. He and he has a pair of balls. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. No, you were the retard that dropped your... Yeah, I'm not the but retard. look at this view. It is, we are spoiled today, incredible. aren't we? Now, I'm used to tractors for one and a half miles. I'm used to deer for one and three quarter miles. Otters. Otters. Why otters? A little bit of nostalgia here. We've just gone past my first barn that I stayed in the last time I did this trip. Uh, there's a very friendly farmer who, who runs this farm and I stayed in that barn right there on a load of hay bales. Would you like to stay there? No, thank you. Are you sure? You prefer a, a, a spa and a jacuzzi yeah. or something? Or just a bed. Or just a bed. Yeah. Bee's just gone for a nature pee. I quote, I don't care if anyone sees me, I'm just going to go, I need the loo. So she went to the loo. Nearing the end of day two. Uh, 10, 15 miles away from uh, a couple of friends of ours, Drew and Dee. So, that's exciting. Big moment, we've got our people who we're staying with. The husband has come to ride with us, I think. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good to meet you. Hi, Dee. Oh, yeah. I feel like I know you. Yeah, yeah, I'm so you. well, so I feel like I know you. So, so let me turn this down. This is Drew. Drew is a local. Lives in Strathpeth. How do I pronounce it? <laughs> Strathpether. Strathpether. Yeah. And um, he's riding with us for what about ten miles? Would we say like fifteen that, miles? Yeah. <laughs> End of day two, and um, we've got to Strathpether where Dee and Drew have very kindly given us a room. And look, how insane is this? It is like, I don't know if you can see, but oh, it just, just started raining. Oh my word. Isn't that insane? That is insane. God is good. God is good. We've had the most wonderful time with our first friends mm -hmm. of the trip. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow for day three. It snowed. Not that bad. We've still got blue skies, but it has snowed. It snowed last night, which is lovely. And today, today we're cycling with a Paralympic cyclist. This is Drew and Dee. Drew, who we cycled with last night, his son. Um, 
Finn over there, he's a Paralympic cyclist, so it's rather fun. You've got literally two ends of the whole spectrum. Us on these horrid bikes, going very slowly, and then Finn in his full lycra and clipping things and lots of gears and, you know, bike that you can lift up one finger and we're keeping up, just about. Tell us what do you actually do, Finn? I'm a paracyclist aiming for the Tokyo Paralympics. That's insane. When is the Tokyo Paralympics? 2020. And what's the likeliness of you getting there? Um, hopefully quite high because I'm British champion just now, so... Oh, amazing. And what do you think of these bikes Com compared to yours? probably weigh as much as all my bikes in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, thank you for riding with us. It's probably a real effort to ride this slowly. Oh, by the way, also, got some flipping fresh trousers. Oh my word, I was, I was freezing. I naively only brought leggings with me and I was just freezing. And we went to the cycle shop, which Finn, Finn the Paralympian, um, goes to, to do all his bike stuff. And they gave me these amazing waterproof, windproof, everything proof trousers. So now I'm really kitted out. Today's actually going really well. We've got empty roads, we're almost at Loch Ness, which is pretty exciting. And there's B behind me, nailing it as ever. my last trip I walked just purely for camera sake I could actually get on up here on an old bike we can't we're walking on the Boris bikes but I actually walked up this little stretch and I'll show you a little clip of the last time I did it six years ago that's what I did and there was text underneath saying it was really steep those guys there just came and gave us cakes they gave us these amazing homemade like muffins with the most obscene icing and chocolate and stuff on. They also gave us a um, £20 donation, which is our first cash donation of the trip, which is amazing. And that right there, finally, is the breathtaking Loch Ness. B, just quickly, what were you saying earlier about Scotland? How's your mother going to feel about that? My mother knows I freaking hate Scotland. Oh. I hate it even more now. Do you hate it even more now? I'm never you... coming back. Okay. You hear that, folks? She hates Scotland. finishing today oh my word that was horrid it's, we've been climbing and climbing and climbing we saw more and more snow and it got windier and windier and then we just had this last long downhill and it was you want downhill to be nice but this was just horrid because it was so windy and it's also our longest day it's been 67 miles today so um yeah there's B coming in now and she'll surely agree with me that that was horrid all of that hard work we did climbing hills and it's all done in one minute but also, not even the fact that it's done in one minute, it, the wind was coming against us. I, uh, so, <laughs> oh, I need a gin and tonic. Oh, let's go get a gin and tonic. End of day three. Long, long day, 66 miles. We've got a pretty daunting day ahead of us. It's not too long, but it's quite hilly, and we're just worried that it's going to be snowing all day. So, pray for us, please. Thank you. Once more than I swear we are through 